Howdy friends! Today we're going to add a little bit more depth to the background. So, we have two planets that we could add. One is named Planet 1 and one is named Planet 2. Here they are. And so just every so often we'll generate a planet as long as one doesn't exist yet. So sometimes I just like to add a variable. Um, it's called planet exists and zero means it doesn't exist yet. So if it doesn't exist, the program will have the option to create one. So after it does this whole long arduous sprite generation thing for the stars, it'll we'll have a planet generation. Planet generation. Now remember I made a variable called rand up at the top here, which is a random number from 1 to 1000. And so that'll be used just to, just to randomly generate things. So we can say, well first of all, we'll check to see if there's a planet. If planet exists equals zero, so if there's no planet, we'll, we'll make one. Then, and then we'll have the option to make one actually. So if rand equals two, then, we'll make the planet 1 and if rand equals 3 we'll make planet 2. <laughs> Makes so much sense doesn't it? So print to our graphics window here add sprite planet we'll call it and planet 1. So the way I set this up I don't need to have two planets at once I can only have one variable for both of them. It'd be kind of silly to have an array for something that will only exist one at a time. So uh, we'll have a variable that keeps track of its x and this will be some random position. Uh, let's make it... well, we'll do some random number and then Multiply by blah, 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 blah. how wide is our screen? I don't know, like 500 some pixels. Let's do 400 times this, and then minus like half the width of the planet. Planet one is the smaller one. Planet two is much bigger. So planet y will be uh, just a bit off the screen. So we'll do negative 200. Um, and then we can just add or position it there. Sprite xy, planet, and then planet x, and planet y. And now, of course, we have a planet, so the planet now exists. So planet exists equals one. Um, and now at this point, since we've added a new sprite, which goes in the background, and we want our sprites that we control, like the character and all that stuff, to be in the foreground, we'll go sub raise, what do I call it, raise foreground. And that is from a previous video, if you recall. So that was if rand equals 2, we'll add planet version number 1. If rand equals 3, then we'll add planet version number 2. Now this one's bigger, so planet x will say an integer of a random, random number and we'll say 300 and then offset by 100. Come to think of it, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it's good to treat integers as integers and real numbers as real numbers. Even though JustBasic handles them on its own, 
it's good programming practice and and uh, <clears throat> really uh, good practice for other programming languages such as C++ and um, other things that really care whether it's an integer or not. Um, so let's let's do planet y is equal to minus. I don't remember exactly how big this planet is, but let's be safe and say minus 700. And then print number one sprite xy planet planet x planet y. And then we'll do our little go sub raise foreground and and if and then and the overall if and that's all we need for planet generation okay now sprite position uh, it's obviously going to be motionless <clears throat> in the x direction but we'll steadily move down the screen in the y direction so let's make a spot for planet move and if planet exists then whoops then we do our stuff because if we try and do it when planet doesn't exist then it's going to be very confused and yell at you what do you mean planet i don't have a sprite named planet um so planet y is the only thing that's going to move and it's going to steadily increase by what's a good number oh well it'll depend on throttle so throttle times let's say 0.1 and then i guess that's all we need to Position them, position it, planet, planet X, planet Y, and now what? Oh, how about this? If it's off the screen, then we'll remove it and say planet exists equals zero. So if planet Y is greater than, let's say, 700, then maybe I can spell print number one remove sprite planet and now there is no planet so the program can make a new one if it wants and that's all we need to move end I don't know where that came from I don't want that program to end in the middle of nowhere. All right, I think we're good. I think that we are good. Oh, the planet doesn't exit. Exists. Huh, happened to just see that. Usually it doesn't work like that. All right, let's try it. Hey, all right, let's try moving. Stars are moving. Not sure exactly how long it'll take for a planet to appear, but we shall see. We shall see. I'm just a little black rain cloud hovering over the honey tree. Everyone knows that a rain cloud never eats honey no not a nip um if this gets really boring i'll just pause the video and jump back in when a planet appears because i don't want you to get bored to tears finding out that oh there's been a mistake and the planet won't appear at all ever maybe 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 okay I'll pause and come back
There it is! There's a planet! Wee! See, it's moving slightly faster than the stars in the background, which is good. And our foreground sprites are in front of it, which is also good. So, I call that a success. Didn't have to wait too long, maybe about a minute or so, minute or two. And that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm happy. And I'm at full throttle, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, very good. I guess I'll just hang around some more and see if you can see the other planet. Okay, I'm bored. Let me perhaps um, increase this range. So if rand is greater than three and rand is less than 50. Uh, oh, I didn't leave any room for that one. Anyway, syntax ever. I must have. Wait, what did I do? I didn't do... what? Huh? Oh, I see it. I was very confused about that. Okay. We're back in business. Hopefully you'll see the other planet. Took me a while. I waited like three minutes and then I was just like, no, not enough planets. Too many stars, not enough planets. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? Do, 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 do. Oh, how we laughed and laughed. Except I wasn't laughing. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. I used to want you dead, but now I only want you gone. Oh, there's our old friend. Oh, you saw this guy already. Oh, what are the odds that you'd see this guy before you see the other one? This is fishy. Anywho, you get the picture. I guess I'll just sign off now. See you next video. Stay tuned for more awesomeness, and I'll see you in space someday. Hi guys, I found the problem. Um, <laughs> I forgot to include this line for planet 2. Um, so, the planet does exist for planet 2. And without that line, it never moved the sprite. So, um, yeah, that was just too dumb for me not to fix. Howdy, friends. Huh? What? Today we're going to add yep. a little bit more depth oh. to the background. <laughs> Previous video. Wow! This one's cool. This one's big. This one's my friend. Looks like Earth. I want to go there. Can I land, please? Anyway, I just wanted to show you that quick mistake and I fixed it. So, ta da! Now, over and out. See you in space someday.